I think there's no words that can tell you the real emotions and how close you really can get and become part of the elephant herd. It's magic. We decided that we'd like to integrate him with the wild herd on Kapalma. Which is obviously the way to go, but hours and hours of spending time with him in the bush. He just reckoned he wasn't an elephant, eh? They came and they travelled down with their groomsmen. The grooms were there the whole time, you know, to calm them. It was just amazing to experience that bond between them. The only way really to keep them in existence was to continue offering elephant back safaris. Camp Jabalani has been heavily criticised in the media because they've offered elephant back safaris. The general public do not know how the elephants at Camp Jabalani have been trained and looked after. These elephants are out in the natural game reserve browsing probably a good 70% of the day. What our beliefs are in conservation, you need to step out and you know, also be a leader for other elephant back safaris to really look at operations. Lundi, how are you? Lundi, are you ready to go out? The grooms really have amazing skills with the elephant. And you could just tell that these elephants accept these grooms as if they were part of the herd. I still wild as it is. We don't destroy them. We like their character. A dean here wanted some research done on her elephants to see how they were feeling in comparison to the wild herd here. Fecal glucocorticoids, so those stress hormones and levels, were actually previously monitored once by Dr. Andre Ganswith and the University of Pretoria, and they found that there was no significant difference. They're probably the most difficult animal that I know of anyway to actually rear. There's not one particular formula that you can say this one works definitely for elephants. We've done a lot of research and investment now to get a supplement that's very close to the natural milk of an elephant cow. To give you an example about what Chow would cost, his milk is 1,800 Rand a day. And this is where we have to think of very clever ways to support this program. You take on a responsibility of 60 years, and I think that's the reason why I'm looking at putting something into place that if I'm not there one day, that it can continue. Hesk is situated an hour's drive away from Camp Jabalani, and that isn't ideal. There is not so many places in South Africa raising baby elephants the way we do here. They will not ever find a place where there are as many people that are as qualified and as experienced to look after a baby elephant until it's 33 years old. We are appealing to the world to help save as many elephants as we possibly can. I just think if people could come here and really see what this place is about and the story behind how it grew and how these animals were orphaned and how they're living in these great environments now, I think it would just change a lot of people's minds. It's a very good place for the animal to stay. Uh, <laughs> hey. All right, all right. Come, 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 come. Now to uh, to work with the animals, it's better than to work with the human being. <laughs> because I understand the animals than the people. <laughs>
I love to stay with the elephant. It's like my children. That is my life. There's a lot of things that people still can learn from elephants, just their way of treating each other. 